welcome back to Yoga with Aya. Today we are going to practice relaxing everyday yoga. So grab your mat, water, and let's begin. Comfortable Shavasana to start. Slowly deepen your breath and bring awareness to your breath. Inhale from your nose and exhale out through your nose. Let your body sink down on your mat. Maybe you can sway your head left and right very nice and slow if that feels okay. Maybe you can roll up your feet and if you like you can wiggle your fingertips as well. So let your shoulder and belly button sink down towards the mat. If you like to set an intention for your practice, maybe this is a good moment to set the intention. Slowly bend both knees, feet flat, and begin swing your knees side to side. And next time you go to the right side, drop both knees to your right, and bring your gaze to the opposite side. You can open up your arms wide like a T-shape. Bring your knees back to center, and begin swing your knees again, nice and slow. And drop your knees to the left side, and this time take a look to your right side. Slowly come back to center, and lift your feet to the sky, flexing your feet. Arms by your side, palm facing down or facing up if you are comfortable that way. Just let your belly button sink down. If you like to hold your um, knees, you can. Slowly lower your heels down towards the ground and stop halfway. Point your toes and come back to center. Flex your feet, lower it down and point your toes to come back up. So you want to go up at the same speed you're going down. Nice and slow. Inhale to lower all the way down. Now extend your arms over your head. Have a nice full body stretch. Bend your knees, feet flat, and slowly come out of Shavasana. Roll down on your belly and make sure your elbows underneath your shoulders. Now bring your right knee towards your right arm and drop your forehead down, half frog pose. So you want to send your right foot far out to the right side as comfortably as you can. If you can't move too much, don't worry about it. So you want to make sure your hips are facing down evenly. If you can't touch the ground with your forehead, maybe you can use the block. Okay, come back to Sphinx pose and this time bend your right, uh, right knee and bring your knee towards your um, right elbow. Same thing as the other side. Let's 
let's stay for one more breath here. And slowly send that leg back. Now hands underneath your shoulders, come into a baby cobra pose. Keep your head at the mutual spot. And lower your forehead down. Now coming up to cobra pose. Make sure your hands underneath your shoulders. Now slowly bend your knees. Sit over your heels, come into a child's pose. Your forehead is touching the mat. Maybe you can massage your forehead, swing side to side. Slowly scoop up. Bend your elbows, scoop down. Coming up on the cobra again. And push yourself back to child's pose. So we're gonna do this flow for a couple more times. Bend your elbows, Bhujangasana. Coming up on cobra pose. Slowly sit over your heels, child's pose. You wanna keep the connection with your breath and move with your breath. Each cobra, maybe you can lift your chest a little bit higher. Now settle down on child's pose. Maybe you can make a hands player pose over your head. Or we'll just keep your hands down. Just add a little weight to your head so you can sink down a little deeper. Okay, find your tabletop pose. And tuck your toes under first downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal up your feet. So aim for upside down V shape here. Your head is inside your arms. Now slowly hover your knees down. You almost want to touch them but you don't touch down. Go back to um, so we're gonna do a couple more times. Drop your knees down, back to down dog. And again, hover your knees down. And press back to downward facing dog. Now walk to the top of your mat. Your feet about hip width apart. Grab opposite elbow, come into a standing forward bend. Sway your head side to side if that feels good to you. And release your hands down. Bring your feet together to touch. Next inhale, coming up to halfway lift. Keep your back nice and straight. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on your hips. Nice and slow coming up. Support it, back, mini back bend. And exhale, Tadasana, standing mountain pose. Inhale, lift your arms up, grab opposite elbow, bend to your right side. Exhale, come back. And bend to your left side. And come back to center. Exhale, swan dive forward bend, hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice 90 degrees here. Exhale. Step back with your right foot. Low lunge. Inhale to lift your left hand up. Open up your fingertips wide. Exhale back to low lunge. Now drop your right knee down and tuck your toes. Hands on top of your left knee. Inhale to lunge forward, exhale back to center. Inhale, lunge, exhale up. Inhale, lunge. And slowly sweep your arms up, grab opposite elbow. 
So if you like to keep little mini back bend, you can bend to your right side and left side. Find your balance here. Now release your hands down, tuck your back, toes under, and slowly come into a halfway split. So you can lift your left toes up here. Walk your hands back, coming back to low lunge. Inhale, sweep your left foot high, three leg dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Let's walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fall. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, chair plane pose. Either palm facing up or facing down. Inhale back to chair. Exhale, chair plane pose. Inhale back to chair. Exhale, goddess pose. Squeeze your elbows. Inhale back to chair pose. Exhale, rise and shine. Back to Tadasana. Inhale, reach your arms up. Grab opposite elbow. Bend to your right and center. Bend to your left. And back to center. Exhale, forward fall. Next, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back with your left foot, low lunge. Slowly lift your right hand up to the sky. Shine your heart. Now release your right hand down, drop your left knee, untuck your toes, hands on top of your right knee. Inhale to lunge forward, exhale center. Inhale lunge, exhale center. Next time, deepest lunge, sweep your hands up and grab your opposite elbow. Go ahead and bend to your left side and right side. Or just stay steady. Release your hands down, tuck your back toes under. Come back to halfway split. Lift your right toes off the mat. Take a couple breaths here. Okay, slowly come back to low lunge. Inhale to sweep your right foot high three leg dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Walk to the top of your mat. Back to standing forward bend. Inhale halfway lift, lengthen in your spine. Exhale forward fall. Inhale back to chair pose. Exhale, chair plane pose. This time, if you like, you can lift your heels off. Inhale, come back to chair with heels up. Exhale, back to chair plane. Inhale, back to chair. Lower your heels down, goddess pose. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, rise and shine. Back to standing mountain pose. Catch your breath here. Inhale, reach up, grab opposite elbow, bend to your right, back to center, bend to your left, back to center. Exhale, swan dive forward bend, hinge from your hips. Next, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back with your right foot, prepare for warrior one. Hands on your hips and slowly come up. And after making sure your hips are facing forward, lift your arms up and wide. Make an eagle arm. Opposite arm is underneath. Inhale to arch your back, lift your elbow. Exhale, humble warriors. Both elbow inside of your left knee. 
Inhale, lift up, arching your back. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, bring the elbow at shoulder height. From here, we're gonna practice warrior three. Step forward with your right foot. Begin balancing your left leg. Come forward as comfortably as you can. Try to flex your back foot. So your spine should be parallel to the mat. Lower your right foot down, coming back to warrior one. Reach up. Okay, from here, we're gonna wide open to warrior two. Inhale, both legs straight, place your hands together to touch, and exhale, open up warrior two. One more time. Exhale to reverse warrior. Inhale, extend the side angle. Just like making a circle with your arms, going back and forth. Inhale to reverse warrior. And exhale, prepare for triangle pose now. Hinge forward and bring your left hand down, right hand up. So you always want to focus your top hand reaching the sky, then bottom hand reaching the ground. Exhale, reverse triangle pose. Both legs are straight now. When we your hands down, back to low lunge. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Catch your breath here. Now slowly walk to the top of your mat. Or you can go ahead and now start the warrior one on the other side. Place your hands on your hips and reach your arms to the sky. Now open your arms wide. This time the other arm is down. Eagle arm. Inhale to arch in your back. Look up. Exhale, bring the elbows inside of your right knee. Inhale reach up, exhale, squeeze, inhale, reach up to the center, and straighten your front leg, step forward, prepare for warrior three, try to straighten your balancing leg as straight as possible, gaze straight down beyond your arms, Bend your front knee, lower the back leg down, back to warrior one. Now slide open to warrior two. Both legs straight, reach up and back to warrior two. Inhale, reach up, exhale, warrior two. Last one, inhale, reach up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extend this side angle. Just like an ocean wave, we're gonna go back and forth. And prepare for triangle pose, hinge forward first. And bring your right hand down, left hand up. Gaze with your left hand. Or you can look straight down if that's more comfortable. Slowly come back through center. And come to a reverse triangle. Wimmer your hands down, back to low lunge. Step back, downward facing dog. Cleansing breath if you like. Let's reconnect with your intention again. Drop both knees down. Untuck your toes. Find tabletop pose. Inhale, arching your back to cow pose. Look up. Exhale, round your back and cat pose. Inhale, back to cow. Exhale, back to cat. 
find your stillness now next inhale lift your right hand up maybe you can roll up your hand exhale thread the needle drop your right cheek down you can extend your left arm over your head or make a half bind whatever makes you feel good and slowly slide your left foot out tripod stand so try out different version today and see which one you like slowly send your right hand back again make a circle with your right hand and exhale back to tabletop pose inhale lift your left hand up make a circle exhale thread the needle drop your left cheek down extend your right arm over your head or make a half bind same thing as other side slide your right foot out okay slowly release your right hand down underneath your shoulder and slowly release your left hand reach up roll up the hand and exhale back to tabletop pose tuck your toes under and sit over your heels this can be quite intense if you are not comfortable just untuck your toes and sit over your heels place your hands together at heart center just focusing on your breath here We are going to stay a few more moments and stretch in the bottom of our feet. Maybe you can tilt your head to the right. Back to center. And tilt your head to your left. And back to center. Release your hands down. Bring your knees a little bit wide, sit over your heels, hands behind your hips, and lean back and lift your knees off the mat. You can look up to the sky, or if you like to get down on your forearms, you can. You can look straight behind if that's comfortable. slowly come out of it and come back to downward facing dog let's walk the dog again now grab your right heel with your left hand if you prefer to bend your knees here you can Okay, grab left heel with your right hand. So you don't want to lose the upside down V shape here. Now walk to the top of your mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale forward fall. Inhale round your back. Come up nice and slow. Reach your hands up support it back bend if you like and exhale back to Tadasana just take a few moments before moving on to a balancing pose today we are going to practice tree pose find standing mountain pose first and begin shifting your weight to your left foot your right foot can be against the shin or upper thigh, whatever you choose today. Find a focal point. Inhale to reach your hands up. Exhale, lower your hands together. Again, make a big circle with your hands. And grab opposite elbows. And stay for a couple more breaths. So you want to make sure your knees not 
closing keep that right knee opened up your back should be straight slowly release your hands down release the leg down back to tadasana standing mountain pose now shift your weight to the opposite leg so you want to do the same thing you did on the other side So if you're having a hard time doing a stand uh, tree pose, you can stand against the wall and lean on the wall for modified version. Make circle a couple of times before grabbing the opposite elbow. If you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and close your eyes here. Release your hands down, release your leg down, shake it off, and come back to the top of your mat. I'm just facing the other side now. Inhale to reach up, exhale to chair pose. And next inhale, sit a little bit lower, and a little bit lower, squeeze your bones. Inhale to rise and shine. Now split your feet as wide as your mat. Toes out, heels in. Find your star pose here. And place your hands together at heart center. Begin to bend both knees. Send your feet out a little bit farther. Find malasana pose. You can shimmy down if you like. Or you can go straight. Lower your hips down towards the floor. If you like to modify, grab your block and place underneath your hips here. Gonna stay a little bit here. And hands down, walk your feet together to touch. Back to standing forward bend. Next inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fall. Now send both feet back and slowly find your plank pose. So hands underneath your shoulders, both heels reaching back. You can sway side to side to get comfortable. So aim to hold for 30 seconds here. But anytime you are in pain or you're not comfortable, drop your knees down. Otherwise, fire up your core here, looking straight down. Keep placing the mat away from you. Now untuck your toes. Keep your thighs lifted for up, upward facing dog. And lower your belly down with control. Drop your right cheek down. Gaze to your left side. Catch your breath here. You can wiggle your hands and feet if you like. Now slowly bend both knees, grab each foot with each hand. Inhale, just your chest up, bow pose. Gaze straight forward. Make sure not to hold your breath. And exhale, lower your other cheek down. If you like to uh, windshield wiper your legs, you can. Now grab hold of your feet again. This time we're going to lift your chest and the knees at the same time. So inhale to lift. We're going to hold for a couple breaths. But make sure to breathe. Okay, release your grip, stuck your hands on top of each other, rest your leg, rest your forehead down. And pretend like you can kick your hips with your heels. Left and right. And release your feet down, hands underneath your shoulders. 
lift up to child's pose. Again, if you like to make a player hands over your head, you can, or just keep your hands down on your mat. Just make a connection with your third eye center to your mat. Okay, release and send both feet forward. Find your stuff seated pose. Your back is nice and straight. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Flexing both toes. Your knees are lifting straight up. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, nice relaxing forward bend. And stay a couple breath here. And come up. Separate your feet a little bit wide. Bring your right foot in and place your right knee down. Inhale, reach up and face your body to your left leg. Exhale, forward fall. So we are stretching the left hamstrings behind your knees, behind your shin. And slowly come out. Place your right hand behind. Inhale to reach your left hand up. Exhale, make the circle. Once, twice, and reach behind to hold. Slowly come out of the pose. And this time bend your left knee, place your left foot inside. Place your left knee down towards the ground. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, fold forward to the right leg. So you might notice one side is tighter than the other side. That is normal. Just take a note of it. Slowly come out and place your left hand behind. Inhale to reach up with your right hand. Just like the other side, make a big circle. Going once, going twice. And reach behind and hold. Slowly release the bottom down. And hug your knees into your chest. Drop your forehead down. Now preparing for boat pose. So make the shin parallel to the floor. Slightly lean back, flex your toes, fire up your core. You can keep your hands underneath your knees or left leave uh, outside. Inhale, two hands together and exhale, scoop up. So inhale, uh, lean down a little bit. Exhale, come up to center. You want to do about three, four times. And drop feet down and hug your knees into your chest. Okay, we're going to do seated figure four. So cross your right foot over your left knee. Slowly bring your left knee closer to your chest. So try to keep your spine straight. And depends on the flexibility, you can hug your knees over instead of under. Okay, slowly release that knee down. Opposite side, same thing. So start it from your foot far away and bring the foot in. Depends on how much stretch you want to get out of it. Okay. 
Okay, release it down. Now bring your feet closer to your hips. Find butterfly pose. Bounce your knees up and down. Now send your feet out a little bit. And you want to make a diamond shape with your knees. Send your hands from underneath. Wrap around your feet and lower your forehead down. Turtle pose. If you can't touch the feet with your forehead, don't worry about it. If you like, you can grab the block and place in between your forehead and feet. Slowly release your hands and prepare for spinal twist. Send your right foot over your left knee, hug that knee into your chest and slowly send your right hand behind looking over your right shoulder. When you twist, you always want to twist from your belly button rather than just shoulder and neck. Okay, counter twist here. Send your left hand behind and keep hugging your knees into your chest. Okay, come back to center. Let's do the other side. Keep your spine as straight as possible. And slowly send your left hand behind, looking over your left shoulder to start. Come back to center, counter twist. Right hand back, looking over your right shoulder. Okay, find a uh, stuff seated pose with your hands forward and slow with control. We're gonna make all the way down. You want to fire up your cores for last squeeze. And your head is the last part to reach. Bring your knees into your chest, sway side to side. Maybe you can make a small circle with your knees. And slowly lift your both feet to the sky, flexing your toes. Arms by your side. Try to relax your shoulders down. Slowly release your left foot down. Bring your left heel a little bit closer to your hips. So from here, one leg bridge. So squeeze your shoulder blades and keep your left leg lifted. Now both feet together, release your right foot down, left foot down, sorry. Then one leg bridge on this side. You might not able to lift as much, but don't worry about it. Okay, now separate your feet as wide as your mat, both knees together to touch. At the center of your mat, sway your head side to side, cactus your arms, and drop both knees to your right side. You can place the right foot on top of your left knee and gaze to your left side. And slowly sway your knees side to side. And drop knees to your left, gates to your right. Okay, last pose before Shavasana, fish pose. So tuck your hands underneath your hips, palm facing down. Point your toes 
and place the crown of your head down to your mat. Gaze straight back. So stretch your throat. And slide your head down with control. Make final movement before Shavasana. And slowly come back to your natural breath. Allow yourself to let go everything. Just let your body melt over your mat. You can stay in Shavasana as long as you like. Shavasana, gently wiggle your fingertips and toes. And have a nice full body stretch, arms over your head, going to a pose. Bend your knees slowly and fall over to one side. Place yourself nice and slow, come to a seated pose. So that was relaxing everyday yoga. Thank you for practicing with me. And see you next time.